Check it out, guys. A little meal I'm having right now. Um, I got some tomatoes. And I got some quinoa. Now I put a little tomato sauce on top of the quinoa. <clears throat> because me and my kids made pizza made like four or five days ago. And they, they had some leftover pizza sauce. Anyways, when I... Uh, when I do use, you know, some kind of processed food, I do my best to use foods that that have some kind of reasonable ingredients. Basically, ingredients that I that I can uh, recognize. And that's all pretty straightforward. And then from there, I got some extra virgin cold pressed olive oil. With olive oil, guys, you want to really look for an olive oil that has a good reputation for quality. I believe this one does. I've, I've researched a little bit about olive oils. This one seems to have a pretty good reputation. Some cold pressed extra virgin olive oils aren't necessarily great quality. And basically what happens is as, as far as I understand, they can go rancid or they can like oxidize, I guess. But basically, you want a good quality olive oil. It's important because a lot of olive oils out there apparently are filled with other oils, even though they say olive oil. They have fillers as well. Anyways, that's just, a, you know, from what I've understood. So you want to get a good quality olive oil. It's important. So I got some tomatoes, some quinoa. And then some ghee butter. So it's like a thicker kind of butter. Grass fed, you always want to get grass fed. Grass fed is just going to have a higher nutri nutritional value. Always significantly higher. It's not even comparable in my opinion. So grass fed, you always want to have the grass fed. I'm going to do. I'm gonna have a little uh, Himalayan salt. I have some apple cider vinegar. Some black pepper. Just a little meal right here. I'm just going to have a little quinoa, some tomatoes, and then I have some things to season it with. You know, the butter will make my uh, quinoa really delicious as well, and it's garlic butter. So it'll give it some taste, some pepper, some salt on my tomatoes, some olive oil on my tomatoes, maybe some, uh, I like apple cider vinegar. I just love the taste of it. And so that's what I'm doing right now. It's a quick little meal. Thought I'd share. All right, talk to you all later. Peace out.